Good morning from El Chalten, Argentina. Today has already started off pretty damn good. What do you think of the sunrise? We had some Alpen glow. Can't complain about that, man. So some really great shots, even a little bit of drone footage. And today we are going to get set up to go hiking in the mountains. Today I'm actually outside of El Chalten by eight kilometers at the base of that mountain, which is Fitzroy. Uh, we hiked up this morning, shot a bit of sunrise, uh, but I didn't vlog it because I forgot the battery to this camera down in the car. So I hiked back down, got it, came back 24 kilometers later, it is about one o'clock. And instead of doing more vlog content today, I'm going to do a Q and A interview with Mr. Brendan Manson, who I've been traveling with for the last two weeks and who most of you are probably familiar with. So let's uh, jump into that right now. I hope you can see the mountain behind us. So yeah, we made it. Uh, Mr. Brendan Vanson, if somebody who's watching this doesn't know who you are, uh, please introduce yourself. I am a travel photographer and travel writer and videographer and YouTuber and kind of just maybe a social media dude, maybe a entertainer. All around. I'm a photographer who likes to entertain people. Nice. And how long have you been getting paid to do photography? I've been getting paid to do photography for like seven years, but really consistently, like enough to put food on the plate consistently. It's been like four years since I've been making good enough money to be happy. Would you say that there's still a lot of growth in your career as a travel photographer? <laughs> I sure hope so. Yeah, hey? Yeah, I don't want to be broke forever. I think that there's always growth. I don't think that there's like a plateau that you can reach. I think that in certain careers there might be just because you can't work harder. But I think in travel photography, uh, especially as like an influencer, as much as I hate the word, there's always room to grow. Why did you pick Patagonia for this trip? I picked Patagonia because I haven't been here for ages. I haven't been here for like seven years since like I first started shooting DSLR photography wow. and I wanted to reshoot it because mm -hmm. the images I got last time were terrible. And actually from clients that I've discussed with, there's a lot of need for Patagonia. Mm -hmm. And the timing was just perfect. I had like this free space in April in my schedule and here in Patagonia in April, it's fall colors. Fall right now. So it just made so much sense to hit mm -hmm. up Patagonia because there's client need for it. There's personal desire to explore it and reshoot it. And it's beautiful this time of year. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So should we go explore some more of Patagonia? Let's go do it. Good morning from the base of Mount Fitzroy in Los Glaciares National Park, uh, Patagonia, Argentina. Today is super windy. It is like about 9.45 in the morning. We got up at 6.45 to hike up to the mountain, which is now covered in clouds, to shoot sunrise. However, the really fucking bad news is that I crashed my Canon 5D Mark III onto a rock and broke it. So I'm not sure if it's repairable yet, but I'm thinking that it might be time for a new camera. With that being said, I still have the Panasonic GH5, so I can still shoot over the next week. But uh, yeah, definitely bad news morning with the uh, the death of my 5D Mark III. Uh, so yeah, maybe I'll touch on that later.
So we made it to Agostini camp. I am in a red tent, sheltered from a bit of crazy weather. But we made it and that's good. So I'm gonna chill for the rest of the day and potentially shoot sunset and then definitely up for sunrise again tomorrow. Good morning from an absolutely stunning sunrise so far here in Lago Torre, El Chalten, Los Castilleres National Park, Patagonia, Argentina. How many names can I think of on the spot? Today is our last day, sadly, hiking. We've been hiking for three days and two nights. It's been pretty good. And yeah, we got a great view right now. So from here, we're going to do some photography and then head back into El Chalten, pack up the van and drive down to El Calafate. So that is it for the camp. We are all packed up. It has been three days and two nights, and it is time to head back to El Chal 10, get some coffee, some Wi-Fi, get some editing done, and then hit the road for El Calafate. So let the hike back begin now, 9.6 kilometers. Ready? Let's go! made it back down from Chal 10. I completely forgot to vlog about it. Brendan is much better at that than I am. Uh, but yeah, we got down and we worked for like four or five hours editing, getting the photos onto the computer, getting everything organized and trying to set up the next few vlogs because we're a few days behind. But yeah, it was an amazing trek overall in El Chal 10. I hope you really enjoyed these last few videos. Uh, thank you for watching and stay tuned because next up for us is El Calafate, Perito Marino Glacier and then Torres del Paine National Park back in Chile. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and I'll see you on the next one.